Hello again, and this is a review for Love Hina, for Love Hina, as you can see from the title. Anyway, um, Love Hina was kind of on the verge of being a crack anime. Almost there. It was just like right on a cliff like this, and then if it just, sometimes it took a few steps. And almost a duh, almost, but then, but then most of the time it's just like that, but then it just went off the edge sometimes. Not a whole lot, but sometimes it just ends up jumping back on. If you know what I mean by that. So anyway, it was about, um, a guy being, well, um, a guy being the manager of a women's dormitory at a hot spring and this one I can actually remember all the names most of the time with anime I, I either remember mostly half the names a little bit of the names none of the names almost or all the names, and this is one that I remembered all the names to. So, the main character, Keitaro, and then, like, the main character who's the manager of the women's dormitory at, at a hot spring. So then, um, it is a harem, because, um, Naro near the end, which is like one of the most main girls on there. She actually did basically love him, but she wouldn't admit it basically. So I wouldn't really say that this is a romance anime, really. Because what a romance anime would have a girl punching the guy like almost into space? And then having a girl almost dice them into pieces with a katana. So, yeah. But then one girl who, who started appearing more near the end, Mitsumi, um, they met and that's where it triggered one episode almost with having her pet live with them which became their pet apparently when she sent them a present in like episode maybe six or seven or five or six or seven and it was a turtle that they named Tama and the turtle apparently flies and in that one episode it had to do with Matoko's fear of turtles and she is the girl with the katana. So, apparently, um, this one girl named Kaola, which they mostly call her Sue, and she is a bear, and she is apparently from India. And she made a mecha Tama, a gigantic robot Tama. Like, the gigantic robot of that turtle. So, yeah. Then there is more to that episode. But how it starts out is, it starts out where how you have to watch it in order. Then you, you can just mix up the episodes just a tad near the middle. Except it's not really that good because... Once you get near the end to, like, episode 20, I think that's when you have to really watch it in order. Again. Because, um, I always have, you always have to watch your animes in order. It's okay if you want to mix it up a little, if it's just, like, one that you don't really have to watch in order all the time. But still one that you should I mean near the end that's when it starts to um 
go in a little. And then Love Hina also has movies, specials, and kind of an OVA or a second series. And that second series only has three episodes. One, there's a new character in it, and I haven't even seen it. I've only seen the opening. And she has, like, black hair, and I have no idea who she even is. All I know is that she has a cat, and she's, like, with competition for Naru, I think. Like, for, I don't, basically... That's how it seems in the theme song of it. Anyway, um, Love Hina was actually pretty great. I give it, I'd say, a 9 out of 10. So, yeah. It was great. So, bye.